Dover Air Force Base is the Air Mobility Command's first line of attack in fulfilling our nation's requirement for rapid, reliable, global transportation. The 436th Aerial Port is known throughout the Air Mobility Command as the Superport. Providing superb transportation services to destinations worldwide is business as usual. We are the largest aerial port operation in the entire Department of Defense and have been recently recognized as the best in 21st Air Force for 2000. The Superport continually demonstrates exceptional capability to meet the nation's airlift support needs. During operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm, we handled more than a quarter of all airlifted cargo sent to Southwest Asia. In addition, all cargo sent to Somalia, Haiti, and Bosnia, as well as humanitarian efforts and many other critical operations, were processed and loaded by Superport personnel. The Superport has energized to process and move tons of cargo and mail to Germany, Italy, and even Macedonia to support the United Nations peacekeeping efforts in Kosovo. It's the key to the door marked mobility. The squadron is composed of seven flights. The freight flight is the largest with more than 200 assigned personnel. They are responsible for all activities associated with the movement of cargo and mail arriving or departing Dover. They are an integral part of the supply lifeline. They are responsible for moving thousands of tons of cargo and mail, including personal property to many overseas locations. The flight can handle anything from a one pound box to a 30 ton truck from guided missiles to blood for the troops, from aircraft engines to turkeys with all the fixins for the holidays. Cargo returning from overseas for onward movement within the United States is also a responsibility of the freight flight. Their niche, however, is the large bulky items like tanks, which require unique or specialized handling techniques for movement on C-5 or C-17 aircraft. The Air Terminal Operations Flight is made up of four core sections, including the Air Terminal Operations Center, Load Planning, Computer Operations, and Data Records and Reports. ATOC, manned by controllers and deputy officers, is the nerve center of the squadron, providing 24-hour-a-day command and control. The flight coordinates all superport functions to ensure all passengers, cargo, and mail are loaded on the aircraft for an on-time departure. They also produce aircraft load plans and work closely with chartered commercial airlift operators transiting Dover. Additionally, the flight recently underwent a complete renovation, overhauling and modernizing all office spaces and building a showcase quality, yet fully functional ATOC, complete with a state-of-the-art mission control console, flight line video cameras, and automated mission monitoring systems. Our passenger service flight, along with the fleet services section, have transported and serviced more than a million customers in the last decade, many of which were space-available travelers coming through the terminal during the summer months. The Superport offers a $6 million, state-of-the-art, 35,000-square-foot facility, complete with a snack bar and computer terminals with free internet access. United States Customs, Immigration and Naturalization Service, and Department of Agriculture offices are also located in our terminal, as well as a travel agency, on-site traffic management office, crib room, parents room, playroom, park, video teleconferencing, United Servicemen's Organization, and more. Our fleet service section provides comfort items aboard every aircraft that transits Dover Air Force Base. They place pillows and blankets on board each aircraft for all passengers, crew members, and hundreds of distinguished visitors each year. They also deliver meals and snacks from the in-flight kitchen directly to the aircraft just before takeoff. Servicing the latrines, removing refuse, and sanitizing the water system are all services provided by our fleet service section. Innovative efforts, such as the installation of the largest trash sterilizer in AMC and being the first in the command, 
to procure biodegradable de-icing fluid in bulk have saved the government hundreds of thousands of dollars while providing vast improvements to our environment. All this and more made this section AMC's Fleet Service Section of the Year for 2000. The Traffic Management Office at Dover is larger than those at similar bases. This function is normally aligned under the Transportation Squadron, but here at Dover, TMO is attached to the port because of the enormous amount of surface cargo generated and received. The many services they offer include packing, crating and preservation, personal property, passenger reservations, and truck dock services. Dover is the only strat port where air and surface transportation career fields integrate to perform the retrograde function. The flight also supports personal property storage for all of Delaware, eight counties in Maryland, and even some moves in and out of Washington, D.C. The Combat Readiness and Resource Flight is tasked with an enormous job. They are charged with maintaining all wing plans and emergency action checklists, as well as keeping 310 individuals combat ready. Combat Readiness oversees the unit manning document, all inter-service support agreements, memorandums of understanding, commercial contracts, U.S. Customs and Department of Agriculture payments, and manages a multi-million dollar budget. They are also responsible for 21 separate aerial port facilities. When qualified transporters are needed for short notice or worldwide rapid deployments, AMC comes to Dover and the Combat Readiness and Resources Flight. The Mobility Flight is tasked with training aerial port personnel for rapid deployment anywhere in the world in support of the Air Mobility Command's commitment to global airlift. These battle-ready warriors have the equipment and the training to go into austere environments, even under hostile fire, to accomplish the mission, whether it be unloading aircraft or conducting other emergency operations. This flight is tasked as the Air Force's training site for testing the latest transportation equipment. They are currently testing the next generation small loader under field operations. The mobility flight is also responsible for providing familiarization training to newly assigned airmen from technical school. The customer service branch is the smallest of all our flights, but has a vital role in smooth flow of cargo through the defense transportation system. This branch is charged with coordinating actions with air terminal operators, air clearance authorities, and shipper services to ensure the orderly flow of cargo to aerial ports around the globe. Here at Dover, we are fortunate to have Army and Air Force liaison officers attached to the port, aiding in the smooth flow of cargo through the DTS. Finally, operating the largest aerial port in the Department of Defense, the 436 Aerial Port Squadron's primary mission is to provide airlift support for the movement of cargo, mail, and passengers, in direct support of operations directed by the President of the United States, the Department of Defense, or the Joint Chiefs of Staff. We provide theater commanders with the supplies and equipment they need to conduct and sustain wartime operations. In peacetime, we provide airlift support of worldwide humanitarian efforts, exercises, contingencies, or emergencies. The Superport, no one comes close.